Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time, something that I'm very excited about drinking. It is a bottle of De Cerise's Black Albert, and it says on there, Batch Zero. I've got no idea what relevance that Batch Zero is, but there's loads of little bits on this bottle that make me, make me kind of quite jolly, I guess. Belgian Royal Stout, that's a whole new thing on me. It says all sorts on here, it says, uh, one out of a dozen ales that is as black as hell, filthy rich in the nose, and with massive spoiled taste. <laughs> and there's a little thing down here, it says, very strong beer. <laughs> it's 13% ABV, just one of those European stouts that everybody talks about, everybody really highly regards, and and I guess it goes worldwide, it's one of those beers that uh, is kind of held with very high, kind of, high acclaim. Never had it before, the straight version, I've had the, I've had Black Mares and I've had the Coffee Club, a couple of the Dam Black Damnations, that's the blend of this and Ellen Vermans from... Demolin. Oh, big fizz on that. Oh, I thought it was going to be a bit lively than it is, but it's behaving, yeah, 13%. But it's a nice little ball. When it pours, not... doesn't look uber thick, but I'm, I'm holding judgement on that. I'm going to pour as much as I can from this, as it's a Belgian beer. I don't want shitloads of sediment, you know me and sediment. We don't mix. But yes, a nice kind of textured label to that as well. Just one of those kind of iconic European beers I've never had. Very excited to try. But as, as it said, it is absolutely black as night. I mean, there is no element of light getting through that. A fizz of um, kind of quite dark brown, darker than it shows on the camera. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh. <laughs> Um, there's one thing that I picked out which I've never picked out in a beer before and I'm going to hold on to that for a second because it's more, uh, the, the more significant characteristics are the, those dark malls. It's big on the chocolate, not much alcohol. Oh, it's like a really smooth milk chocolate and loads of coffee. Maybe a hint of kind of rum and licorice. But it's more on the chocolate and I'm, I'm salivating because it's, it's more on the chocolate and um, and coffee side, which is my preferred kind of aroma from it, and characteristics of any imperial style. But the one thing that keeps striking me, which is quite odd, is wax crayons. <laughs> I mean, Crayola crayons. It really reminds me of that, and in particular the green and the blue ones. <laughs> it smells wonder. It smells absolutely amazing. Oh, maybe a bit of kind of like dry coconut. I'm, I'm gonna overdo it if I if I waffle any more. But those primarily those two flavors, coffee and chocolate, bouncing out by the bucket load. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's good. That first touch of mouthfeel reminded me of um, uh, Evil Twins, Even More Jesus, which is one of the best uh, Imperial Stouts I've ever had. It is full at the start and then it drops off though. It doesn't hang around and become kind of cloying and sticky. Mm. So drinkable. For 13% you'd never get it. Mm. That's good beer. There's a vinous note, there's definitely the um, there's heavy, sticky molasses, mascovado sugar, heavy uh, espresso coffee, but for me, yeah, and, and definitely chocolate, but for me it's that, it's that big sugary kind of heavy dark malt character that's pushing it along. As you as you near the glass, I don't get a waft of alcohol, but you don't get any burn or any warmth at all. The aftertaste 
It's really nice. It's 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 more on the kind of uh, raisin, slightly rum plummy kind of damson edge. I've got sticky lips though. It's not sticky going down. Definitely got the sticky lips. Slightly beef granules. Yeah, actually, I'm getting a bit more of that plummy note in there. That's a seriously good beer, though. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is so fucking good. Uh, it, moments like this make me think I've got a bottle of Parabola on my shelf. I call that the best beer that I've, I've ever drunk. I've still got that bottle. But then I drink beers like this and salt milk from um, from Toll and even my Jesus from Evil Twin and it gets me doubting those experiences because this is absolutely top draw this is this is really good and I am completely on board with anybody who really kind of bigs up this beer and I will say this this is better than the other the other the other versions, the, the blended versions of Black Damnation. All those Black Damnations. Well I've had I've had two or three maybe now, I can't remember to be off top. I think I've had three. Um but this is better. I've got a bottle of um, Hell and Damnation which has been knocking I've had for years now. One day I will open that beer. But this is absolutely world class. If you've not tried it and you've got the opportunity to Please do. I don't know if it's this batch zero. I've never had any other versions of it. But if this is anything to go by, this is good stuff. It really is one of the best Imperial Stouts I've ever had. It's top ten. I've had a lot of Imperial Stouts. It's definitely top ten. You, I mean, my, it's hard to say. I mean, you, you've drunk loads of fantastic beers, I'm sure, in your life. But this, for me is really, it's, it's ticking all those boxes and it is absolutely top draw. Less of the waffling, less of me saying how freaking amazing this beer is. It is a bottle of Struis's Black Albert Royal, <laughs> Belgian Royal Stout, 13% and it's batch zero. Whew. This is the business. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.